So let's see how do we calculate the average return. Before we jump into to understand how do we calculate average return, let's understand why it is important to calculate average return. Average return of any investment makes it comparative with other investment opportunities, hence giving you a better idea to exactly invest into which asset class. That's why one of the factors that determine where you are going to invest is the average return from that investment. Now let's see how do we calculate this average return. So the calculation of average return says the total return is an acceptable measure of return for a specified period of time. Two methods of calculating the average return are as follows. First one is your arithmetic average which is basically summation of x divided by n. Let's say for four given periods you have got four returns that is your r1, r2, r3 and r4. So you need to add all of them up that is r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 and divided by 4 that is your n. Exactly that's what given here as a formula it's summation of x divided by n. This makes you uh, this makes you arrive at arithmetic average return. To calculate your geometric average return, you are going to use a different formula where you are going to multiply all the years return instead of adding them. How do you multiply? The technique would be a little bit different. It should be 1 plus R1 into 1 plus R2 into 1 plus R3 into 1 plus R4 till the nth number of year because here we are considering n as number of years. So we multiply all of them and we say to the power 1 by n or nth uh, root of the product of whatever we have calculated after this multiplication subtracted by 1 will give you the geometric average return. Right, so here as we discussed R is the total return and N is number of periods. So these are the two techniques to calculate your average return. First as we discussed arithmetic average return and second one is your geometric average return. Now let's go ahead and understand the concept of risk.